Over the past year, News 5 has shown you pictures of fights and violent outbreaks at the Cuyahoga County Juvenile Detention Center. Last summer, Juvenile Court Judge Thomas O'Malley outlined a staffing crisis at the facility. This is an ongoing issue stressed again at the last city council meeting. Now, leaders at the Cuyahoga Juvenile Detention Center say they are making improvements, but say they don't have the funding needed to cope with the growing number of juveniles heading into that system. News 5 investigator Joe Paganakis looks at what more can be done to ensure safety at that facility. Well, leaders right here at the Cuyahoga County Juvenile Detention Center say more staffing and funding is definitely needed to address what they call a peak in the juvenile population at this facility. Concerns over staffing, safety, and conditions also had members of Cleveland City Council touring this location on July 5th. They treat you like an animal in here. Meryl Johnson with the Justice for Our Youth Task Force testified before Cleveland City Council after talking with former teen inmates about conditions at the Cuyahoga County Juvenile Detention Center. When we're locked in our room, we have to push a bell to go to the bathroom. A lot of times the guards don't answer. Corrections officers also shared their stories with Johnson about the ongoing staffing shortage at the facility. Morale is so low and the burnout is so serious that they are calling off and the kids get stuck in their rooms. Johnson's testimony had Ward 8 Councilman Michael Polenzik and six other members of council taking a tour of the detention center on Tuesday where staff reported the number of teens being held here have spiked to 138, even though the facility is working with a budget to accommodate only 103. It's the entire county where you're seeing this violence increased juvenile crime, carjackings, robberies, smash and grabs. Deputy Juvenile Court Administrator Bridget Gibbons told News 5 diversion programs like Project Calm, designed to keep youth involved in domestic violence away from secure detention, are helping with budget and staffing issues. We've been averaging between 138 to 145 residents in our detention center, so we're continuously in a need to increase staffing. But Cleveland Council members like Kevin Conwell believe the next county executive elected this November needs to make a greater commitment toward more adequately funding the detention center. Both of the candidates need to talk about the juvenile um, detention center. They need to be there at the juvenile detention center so they can see what's going on. And leaders at the juvenile detention center say they'll be in constant contact with members of the Cuyahoga County Council, hoping additional funding will come their way yet this year to deal with the ongoing staffing issues at this facility. Reporting in Cleveland, I'm News 5 investigator Joe Paganakis. And as Joe just said, we will continue to follow up on this story and bring you the very latest. Now, if you know about a story you think we should be covering, we'd like to hear from you. Email your ideas to tips at WEWS.com.